de la empatía. Hello, good evening everyone, welcome. Nice to have you in the class on time. Hello, hello Anna. Hi everyone, welcome. I hope you are doing well. I'm going to start by taking the attendance, okay? We're, we will start with that in this moment. Okay, so Anna Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Ana Lilia, Brian Javier, Carlos Antonio. Present. Thank you. Elizabeth Martinez, Jose Arnoldo. I'm here. Okay. Jose Galileo. Present, ma. Thank you. Jose Jonathan. Present, miss. En un momento me conecto que voy llegando a casa. Okay, okay, Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Then Juan Carlos Rivas, Laura Carolina, Maria Concepcion, present, Maria Elena, Mayra Moreno, Nelson Gavarrete, Agirmes, Omar Francisco, Oscar Arnulfo, present, okay, Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jenny Suleyma. Present teacher. Okay, thank you everyone. Okay, well, nice to have you in the class. How was your day at work, Jenny? Did you work today? Uh, good teacher. More work. <laughs> A yeah. lot of work. And are you Hard going work. to have vacation at the end of the month? or just the normal holidays? Uh, normal holidays, uh, Christmas and New Year. New Year's Eve, uh -huh. the yes. normal days. Okay, I see. Yes. All right, now, Anna, do you have plans for next year? Can you tell us one plan that you have for next year? Um, plan is, um, like a goal or objective for next year? No sé cómo decirle, teacher, o sea, mucho propósito, ¿verdad? Pero, <laughs> este... Or if you want to, I can give you a moment to organize your ideas. Si no, le doy un ratito, okay. dime. Okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. And Galileo, what about you? Can you tell us one plan that you have for next year? Yes, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. I, I have a goal to 20, 
2022. I hope learn, I, I hope speak fluent English. Fluent English, that is one I of am, the goals. I am frustrado. Frustrated. Frustrated because I can talk, I can, I can type or write. Mm -hmm. I can uh, keep one conversation by WhatsApp or email with other people, but I can talk. That is I, the, I think the sometimes you don't understand one word from me. <laughs> But I do, I do understand. But yes, yes, I know that you're going to make it happen. And we will practice, at least, well, with me, I, I will try to help you out to speak, to speak more and more. Because I don't know if I'm going to be with you in the next, in the next module, but we will try in the next, in the next days. Okay, thank, thank you, Galileo. And you, Anna, are you ready? Did you think about it? <laughs> No, not yet. No. Okay, let uh, me know. Okay. Or do you want help? No sé si quiere que le ayude. O sea, hay muchos propósitos en mente. Uh -huh. Bueno, uno de ellos creo que es el más costoso dejar de comer pan dulce, teacher. Ah, okay. Porque <ríe> ese es mi talón de Aquiles, la verdad. Ah. Bueno, para tener una buena salud, ¿verdad? Okay. Propósito. Maybe you can say one, one objective or one goal I have. It will be like this. One goal I have is, and then you mentioned the activity. I have is, is and, and let's come say, so I stop and. Uh -huh, to stop eating bakery or sweet bread. Or sweet. Uh, uh -huh. One goal I have is to stop bread. Eating, uh -huh. sweet, sweet bread. Sweet bread. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, thank yes. you. Or okay. do you have another one? Sorry, no sé si iba a mencionar otra. Um, como um, decía Galileo, pero no sé, entendí. Eh, Poder hablar más, este, o entender más el inglés, ¿verdad? Para poder hablar más fluido. To speak, yes. ajá. To speak better Exacto. English. Ok, ok, yes. Exacto. I hope that all of you can make it. I think that's a goal all of you have. Creo que casi todos. Creo que tienen esa meta aquí en este curso. Arnoldo have mentioned that before. Eso me dijo Arnoldo también. So, I know that you have that goal. And you can make it happen. Okay, we will continue learning in the class and practicing. In this moment, I'm going to play the sound of an animal. And I want you to tell me by chat, or you can say it, the name of the animal. Voy a poner unos sonidos, y la idea es que ustedes me digan cuál es el animal que está haciendo esos sonidos. Pueden utilizar el chat, o lo pueden decir. This is number one. Tiger. Tiger. Lion. 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 Uh -huh, that's the one. Okay, number two. A goose. Uh -huh. Duck. Duck. Goose. Other option. Dog, dog, pato, goose. Dog. <laughs> okay. It is Monkey. goose. Uh -huh. Oops. Yes. But yes, it is the one that you sent by chat. Or geese, that is the, the plural form. Geese, the gansos, and goose is the uno. Okay. Thank uh -huh. you. That was the one. Next one. What did you hear? Very good. 
It's a hawk. No, Arnoldo. And it's the one that Carlos sent. Eagle. That's an eagle. Huh? Thank you. Eagle. Next one. One moment. Frog. A frog. Frog. A frog. Uh huh. Correct. That's the one. That's a frog. Okay. Next one. What is the name? Yeah. Bird. It's a crow. Bird. That's the one. Bird. Uh -huh. Crow. Yes. The one that sent Carlos and Arnoldo. Perfect. And the last one. Hold on. That's not the one. Oh, the crow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you hear it? A cat. cat. A cat. cat. Yes, it is a cat. That's the way they sound. Do you like cats or dogs? Yes, I imagine you do. Okay, guys. Well, let's continue. I have some questions that I have in the book that we are going to discuss. And we're going to start with Wendy. Okay, Wendy, question number one. How are employees monitored at your company? Do you know the word monitor, guys? Si conocemos la palabra monitor. Yes. So in your company, how do, well, how does your manager monitor your work? Do you have security cameras or how do you do it in your case, Wendy? In my case, I monitor me only. How? I'm Pero responsible. I'm, um, nothing monitoring. I'm responsible in my work. And I work, uh, I, I do, um, I am, um, I am, uh, in, in the company, uh, I am only employee in my boss, and my boss, say the orders and I I, I work but I I understand that you are not monitor por lo que entiendo no la monitorea no right. no. no no prácticamente no because uh, I um report daily report and obligation and uh, the travel ticket uh, emit, emitir, no sé cómo se dice. Oh. Ajá, but monitor is like observe, es como que le estén vigilando, monitorear de observar. But in that area, no, no, okay. But it's you're the only one, right? Entiendo que solo es usted y su jefe. You're the yes. only one. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Saira, what about you? How are employees monitored at your company? I, mo I am monitored uh -huh. by employees. How? How do you do it? ¿Cómo lo haces? What methods do you use? ¿Qué métodos utilizas? What methods do you use? For camera. Security cameras uh, or surveillance cameras? Uh-huh. 
and I have I have the going hasta su hasta sus puestos de trabajo. You go to their spots. I go, you can say uh, I go to I go to their spots. To their spots. As mm -hmm. your, your areas the work. Mm -hmm. Ajá. So you go there, usted los anda ahí como medio viendo que estén trabajando. Como respirándole cerca. <laughs> ah, ok. That is what you do. Ya me lo imagino ahí. Looking at everyone, checking them. But yes, that is what you have to do, right? <laughs> other ideas, other methods? Algo más or just like that? With your, your, your report and reports uh -huh. that's another idea some people have systems in the computers too now that people work online let's ask thank you Zaira Carlos what about you and your okay, company teacher. how are employees monitored at your company uh, in my case, uh, security cameras, mm -hmm. uh, security wards uh, uh -huh. for 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 the cell phone. Cell phones. Ah, they can't use cell phones. No pueden utilizar teléfonos. They no, can't no, use no. cell. Phones. Por, por teléfono se puede monitorear a alguien. Ah, ah, okay. How? How uh -huh. do you do it? It's similar the report, with the report, the operation, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have systems in computers to monitor employees? Uh, for me, no, but uh, yeah, my, my boss, uh, um, yes, they, they, they have. Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes they use systems too. Okay, yes. Carlos, thank you. Now, Jose, Jonathan, in your case, you work with computers. How are employees monitored at your company? Do you guys use systems to check what people are um, doing online? Yes, um, by open session, uh, at the B, uh, virtual private network, BP, B, BPN, mm -hmm. um, by chat, because every day mm -hmm. we are online. Uh, mm -hmm. If uh, if uh, if I, I um, turn turn on offline, uh, my boss uh, call me. Why you don't uh, online? Ah, uh -huh. so yeah. Uh -huh. and uh, they then, are checking on you. Then the method uh, for monitor is uh, by session sessions uh, chat um VPN. Mm -hmm. Correct. You can use computers, right? And yes. that is. In my case, that is what happens with Zoom. You can check if the if the class is open, and if the class is not open, I receive messages, right? Like, what is going on? Do you have problems with the internet? I am monitored too. So most employees are monitored all the time. We have here question number two. Laura, what kind of documentation is used in your company to make sure Employees are doing a good job. Do you understand the question, uh, Laura? Uh, or what do you of, understand? No. Uh, ¿Qué tipo de documentos usa mi empresa para controlar si un empleado trabaja bien? Algo así. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá, correct. Okay. Uh, you control activities daily 
eh, eh, schedule o, o cronograma, es lo mismo schedule, ¿verdad? Schedules. Uh -huh. Schedule, eh, ajá. Schedule or, or program, program on the activities eh, daily. Eh, que se, bueno, decir que se entrega eh, al fin a cada viernes, digamos. That you can submit or deliver. Uh -huh. you, uh, okay. you can submit uh, uh, at my boss in the Friday activities. Every Friday. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, Laura. Thank you. Do you want to add something else? No sé si quiere agregar algo más. Eh, no, teacher. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Are you there, Brian? Are you there, Brian? No. Nelson, what about you? What kind of docu documentation is used in your company? Hello. Uh, in, the, uh, in the company, uh, documentation is a... Uh, Report by report, uh, mm -hmm. by facturation. Bueno, uh, mm -hmm. for sales, for ventas. Sales, uh -huh. sales, sí. invoices, sales. invoices. Eso sería como facturación. And reports. Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. Those yes. are documents they can use. Okay, Nelson, thank you. Is there anybody else who would like to give a comment? No sé si alguien más quería dar un comentario about that part before we continue. No. Okay, we will continue with the conversation, okay? And this is, you're going to see what we are going to study today. So it says, where's Mario? He is late for his shift. Mario? Goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry, he should have called me directly or directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, off, should off, could off. Okay, let's start. Mayra, Mayra and Oscar. Hello, by the way. Mayra, you are the kitchen manager and Oscar, you are Mary. Okay, teacher. Where Mario, he is late for his chief manager. Mario, goodness, I got told uh, he is very sick. I should be have told you your area. Don't worry, he should have called me directly, mm -hmm. directly. If he had called to me my phone, I call her phone and substitute by now. I had time the afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, this word have has two options. Okay, you have two options. Option one, have. Option two, off. And I will explain. I will explain later. Two options to pronunciate. Have, normal, informal, and more common, off. And Directly, two options, directly or directly. They are okay, both of them. Las dos pronunciaciones estarían bien. Esta les mencionaba que puede ser have o puede ser off. Y este, directly or directly. And both are okay. Las dos estarían bien. Luego les voy a explicar por qué le decimos off. Okay, let's continue. But good pronunciation, guys. Juan Carlos and Brian, are you there, Brian? No, Brian. Maria, Concep Maria Concepcion, I don't know if you're there. Brian? Uh -huh. Okay, and Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, you are the kitchen manager. 
And Brian, you are married. Okay. Where's Mario? He's late for his shift, manager. Mario, goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have to tell you earlier. Don't worry, he should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Mm -hmm. Very well, thank you, Juan Carlos and Brian. Let's continue, Arnoldo. Arnoldo and Anna. Arnoldo, you are the kitchen manager and Anna, Mary. Okay. Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. shift. Mario, goodness, I go and call that he is very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have phoned a substitute by now. Uh -huh. I have time this afternoon. Let me call for him. Okay. Thank you very much. Good pronunciation. Just this verb, found. Can you guys repeat? Found. 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 Correct. Okay, thank you. Jonathan, let's continue with you. Jonathan and Galileo. Jonathan, you are the kitchen manager, and Galileo, you are Mary. Okay. okay. Where's Mario? He is late for this ship. Mario? Goodness. I got a call that. He is very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to me by phone, I could have a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Perfect. Thank you, Jonathan and Galileo. I appreciate it. Let's continue, Wendy and Carlos. Wendy, you are the kitchen manager, and Carlos, you are Mary. Where's, where's Mary? He is late for his shift. Mario, what let? I got a call, then he is very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry, he should have called me directly if he had called to my phone i could have found a substitute by now i have tied this afternoon let me cover for him hey, thank you wendy and carlos just this one the pronunciation is cold we don't say the oh. e Cold. Uh -huh. Cold. Carlos, could you please? Cold. Cold. Thank you. Cold. Jenny and Zaira. Jenny, you are the kitchen manager, and Zaira, you are Mary. Where is Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario, goodness, I got a call. The he is very sick. I sure have told you earlier don't worry he should have called called me directly if he had called to my phone i could have found a substitute by no i have time this afternoon let me cover for him okay thank you saira and jenny i'm just going to check saira can you repeat this one The one that is in red. Could you repeat? Got. 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 Así dijo. Solo no oí bien. Es got. Mario, Mario Goodness. I got a call oh. that he is very sick. 
Ah, okay. Got. That is the right way to say it. Got. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Got. Yes. And I Jenny, got. okay. Could you teacher. please repeat. Got. The same. Uh huh. And this one, Jenny, could you repeat that one? Got. Uh, no. Now. The same no, as. No. Uh huh. Now. Got. Now. They sound no. got. Now. Mm -hmm. Now. Thank okay. you, Saira and Jenny. Do Thank you have you. questions about the vocabulary? New words, new vocabulary in this conversation? Goodness, teacher. Goodness is like, como que digamos, Dios guarde o Dios mío. It's like an expression to show surprise. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Anything else? No, no more questions. Uh, shift. Shift. Yes. The, the period of time that you work. Jornada, el tiempo de trabajo. La jornada okay. de trabajo. Shift. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, here we have some statements to complete. Okay, let's begin with number one. Oscar, could you complete the idea? Look at the conversation and complete the statements. I, you, earlier. I play for you, no. I call. I call, I don't know. <laughs> okay, can you help us, Arnoldo? Have you found it? I you, no, I should have told. Uh-huh, that was the, the part. Uh, Thank you, Arnoldo. I should of told you earlier. Correct. Thank you. Laura, number two. He? He should have called my director. Uh -huh. He should have called directly or directly. Me directly. Okay, should thank have you. The teacher, should, oh, should yes. have. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, there it is. And the last one, Juan Carlos, can you complete, complete the idea? I call to my phone, I could have phone. Mm -hmm. Correct. Sorry, I didn't show you the whole thing, <laughs> but yes, that's the one. Could have oh. found, correct. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to use some past models. Se llaman modales del pasado or perfect models. They have different names. We will go one by one. I'm going to start with the English version of the explanation and then I will give you the Spanish version, okay? Vamos a ver tres, tres modales. Could have, would have, and should have. Three. Les voy a dar primero la explicación en inglés, ¿verdad? Y luego vamos a confirmar que si lo entendimos bien. Okay. We're going to start with model in the past, number one. I'm going to tell you about should have. Should have. Okay. And the use. I'm going to tell you the use. We use it when we want to express past mistakes or regrets. 
regrets, when you feel bad about something that you did in the past, that is a regret. You made a mistake and you feel bad. You feel regret. Sería resenti eh, resentimiento, sí. Uh -huh. Resentimiento o... Rem no. Eh, there's another word. Hay otra palabra. Re Remordimiento. Remordimiento. Tampoco. But there's another one. Regret. <laughs> Ahorita le, le digo justo la palabra que es. Give me one second. Pero cuando uno se equivoca y, y siente, o oh, si sí, quizás es, esa es, ¿verdad? Arrepentimiento. Ajá, lamento. Ajá, arrepentimiento, lamento. Yes, ah, pues sí, estábamos ahí en la misma página. Ok, we use should have when you made a mistake. For example, the problem. I gave my bank information to hackers by mistake, okay. This is the problem in the past. This is a problem in the past, a mistake I made, past mistake. I'm going to give you an example. I gave my bank information to hackers and it happened to me, it's real. It happened to me, I have a Banco Agricola account and I gave the information by mistake, so it's real but nothing bad happened because I blocked my, my accounts. All right, so I gave my bank information to hackers last week. Now, I want to express my regret. I'm going to use should of. There is a formula, we have a formula to use them. Subject should have, and we need the verb in the past participle form, okay? The verb in the past participle form. This is the formula we use and the complement. That is the, the last part you will need, complement. I want to express what I have to do, and I do it like this. I shouldn't have uh, given my information by email. Okay, now just to make sure that we're on the same page. Vamos con la Spanish version. Este es un modal para expresar algo que, que está en el pasado. Lo van a utilizar cuando quieran expresar un error del pasado, no error en el presente, sino que en el pasado, o algún lamento. Y aquí les di un ejemplo de algo, de un error que cometí. Entonces, van a utilizar should of cuando ustedes quieren decir que ustedes cometieron un error y lo que quisieron haber hecho, como, como le, lo que tuvieron que haber hecho. Se equivocaron y hoy se lamentan y lo subieran, ¿verdad? Ya no lo podemos cambiar, pero ¿qué hubiéramos hecho para cambiarlo? Entonces, aquí podríamos decir, ok, esto me pasó. Entonces ya utilizo should, have y luego el verbo de la acción, de lo que yo quiera decir. I should have, que hice que no... ¿Qué no hice que debería haber hecho? I should have checked. Oh, I should have called the bank. The bank first. ¿Ok? Pude haber hecho eso, pero no lo hice. Entonces, estoy expresando mi mistake. Another one. Another option. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell me. ¿Puedo decir? Como no debí comer mucho anoche. Ajá, vaya, podemos hacerlo con eso. Uh -huh. I had, sorry, todo tiene que ir en past tense. I had a party last Sunday and I ate and drank 
a lot. Now I feel terrible. Okay, that is the situation, the problem. ¿Va? Hubo una fiesta, comimos y bebimos mucho y ahora nos duele todo. Entonces, si se quieren lamentar, vamos a utilizar should of para expresar lo que tuvimos que haber hecho, pero que no lo hicimos. For example, I shouldn't have, y luego el verbo, eaten, for example, a lot of pizza. Okay. Fue un error. Yo sí lo hice en la realidad, pero ahora me lamento. Y digo que mejor no lo hubiera hecho. Right. I shouldn't have eaten a lot of pizza. Or I shouldn't I shouldn't have had a party. Okay. Y aquí está lo que tampoco debía haber hecho. The party. To change the verb. But the verb is always in past participle. Su verbo tiene que ir en el participio todo el tiempo. Do you have other ideas? No sé si quieren tratar. That is the mistake. What could we say? I had a party last Sunday. I ate and drank a lot. Now I feel terrible. What do you think we could say? To express. Una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Jonathan. Esto se traduciría como yo no debería haber. Mm -hmm. O yo no debí. Correct. Uh -huh. That is the way it will sound in Spanish. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So what could you say? Or let's, let's think about another mistake. Les voy a dar el error. Y ustedes me dicen que, que debimos haber hecho o no debimos haber hecho. I had a car accident because I was texting. I was distracted. Okay, can you make sentences using should of? Do you have an idea? Thank you, Galileo. That will be correct. Good grammar. Mm -hmm. Now, what about situation number three? I had a car accident because I was texting. What would you say? Can you elaborate a sentence using should of? I shouldn't have was texting teacher. Uh -huh, correct. Thank you, Juan Carlos. I shouldn't have texted. And if you want to, you can add more. Si quieren, le agregan ya más. When I was driving, right? That is something I, I shouldn't have done. More ideas? Uh, Anna? Uh -huh. I should have part to mention. I should have part to mention. Park. Park the yes. parquear. Yes. Ah, uh, park the car. Uh -huh. Yes. Thank you. I should have parked the car to send the message. Uh -huh. Like you stop the car and then you send the message, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Other ideas? Este, miss, y puedo yes. decir, eh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Tell okay. me, Nelson. Okay. I'm sure, I'm sure not help as well the messenger. Yes. Uh -huh. You can say that. Thank you, Nelson. 
That's a good idea. And Arnoldo, did you have a comment? I should have used the voice writer. Uh -huh, correct, thank you. So that is the way you do it. Cometieron un error y usualmente pues van a decir qué hubieran hecho para no cometerlo, ¿verdad? Si cometí el accidente por estar mensajeando, ¿verdad? entonces hoy hubiera dicho que mejor no lo hubiera hecho. Right. Entonces dicen lo que hubieran hecho porque cometieron un error. We will practice. We will practice a little bit more. Do you understand? No sé si me van entendiendo. Or do you have questions for me? Galileo, you're fine. Okay. Wendy, Carlos, okay. Jenny, questions? The, the formula is kind of complicated because you need a lot of elements to, to elaborate the sentence. But yes, um, off. Ah, les iba a mencionar lo del off. In, in the formal way, la manera formal de decirlo es have. But when we use past models, people commonly say off. Pero para conversar, la manera informal de esta, de esta palabra en modales del pasado es off. Se pronuncia como off cuando es un modal en el pasado. Y lo pueden, lo pueden ver. Tal vez les mando ahí una canción para que ustedes vean el lyrics y para que vayan viendo de que este se menciona off la mayoría del tiempo. Así como acá, I should have. I... I could have. Se suena como off, pero no se escribe off, solo se pronuncia off. Es como esto. I got to. No. I got to. To go. Oraciones como esas. Cuando uno lo dice, se dice I gotta go. That is the common way to say it. Entonces hay palabras que cambian, cambian al decirlo y se escriben diferente. Eso pasa con should of. La pronunciación cambia. Ok, next one. Vamos con could of. Could of or could have. I'm going to tell you the use and the example and then we practice. Okay. We use could of to talk about past possibilities. Okay, past possibilities. That is when we use could of to talk about past possibilities. For example, um, give me just one moment. I have some examples here. Remember that everything is in the past. All the examples we use, they have to be in past tense. Let's imagine, okay, let's talk about a concert. Vamos a irnos al pasado y estoy tratando de pensar en un evento que sí haya ocurrido. Mm. Okay, so let's imagine, vamos a imaginar, let's imagine that Anna, Anna was not in the class yesterday. Oh, déjenme ver la lista, lo vamos a hacer más real. Yesterday. Todos estuvieron acá. Ok. Monday. Monday. Ok. Uh, well, vamos a dejarlo así. Ok. The idea is that Anna was not in the class yesterday. It's a hypothetical situation, Anna. Just to, to give you an example. Anna was not in the class yesterday, and we don't know, we have no idea why she wasn't here. I'm going to give some possibilities, some maybes. For example, maybe I can say Anna 
could have had to work in the night. A possibility about why she was not here. Anna could have worked, could have had to work in the night. Anna could have been sick. Maybe Anna was sick yesterday. Anna could have been sick. Another possibility. Anna could have, and then you mentioned the verb for your idea. Anna could have gone to a party. Okay, se fue de fiesta o de pasanda. And that is why she was not here yesterday. Y tienen que conocer los verbos en el participio, porque si no los conocen, entonces va a haber problema ahí. Ok, entonces la, la versión en español. Could of lo van a utilizar siempre para cosas en el pasado, pero para hablar de posibilidades. Ok, posibilidades. Acá les mencionaba esto, que hiciéramos de caso que Ana no vino ayer a la clase. Entonces uno se pregunta qué pasó. Como es un evento pasado, voy a utilizar could of para decir qué pudo o qué pienso que pasó. Ana, could of y luego utilizo could of y siempre va a ir el verbo de la acción en participio, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí está, could of, aquí se los voy a marcar, could of. Y luego está el verbo de la actividad o de la acción en past participle, could of had. Could of y el verb be ya no es be, sino que es be en ese es, es su participio. Go, went, gone es el past participle. Okay. Entonces ahí dan posibilidades in the past. Another example. Vamos con el... Yes, Jonathan. No sé si, si, si no entendí bien o... Uh -huh. o la pronunciación del kudo si si es así si, si, si es así como lo escuché o, o, o no se pronuncia ¿Cómo lo, kudo tiene dos posibilidades puede decir have pero la mayoría de native speakers la mayoría que hablan el inglés eh, así de la mejor manera verdad los nativos le utilizan off esa es la manera casual o converse, conversational. Pero se of. escribe siempre igual. Pero, uh -huh. Solo la pronunciación okay. cambia. Ok, ok. Gracias. Perdón, Miss, y, pero solo en este caso o siempre que va al lado. Solo cuando va con modales del pasado. Ah, ok, ok, Ajá. ok. Se los voy a poner acá todos porque ahorita no los vamos a ver todos. Pero cuando se pronuncia como off. Cuando ah, va, okay. may, may have, might have, must have, could have, should have. Esos son los past models. Hay más, diferentes usos. Entonces ya sería may of, might of, must of, could of, should of. That will be the, the way to, to say them. But today we are going to study just three of them my new most cool sure mm -hmm. yes yes so that's one i'm going to give you an idea les voy a dar aquí una situación y ustedes me dan unas ideas con could of y luego vamos con would of the last one okay let's imagine that okay let me think about something real okay my Okay, I didn't have electricity in my house 
last weekend. Okay. Possibilities. ¿Cuáles creen que sean algunas de las possibilities? ¿Por qué no tuve electricidad? I didn't have electricity in my house last weekend. How would you say it? ¿Cómo podrían hablar de past possibilities utilizando could of? I'm going to give you a moment. Okay, les voy a dar un momento para que organicen sus ideas. And please let me know, let me know your opinion. Thank you, Arnoldo. Ajá. Aunque ya estamos utilizando los modales en, en su forma pro, eh, progresiva. Está bien también, está correcta. Solo que para utilizarla así, con su forma base, podemos decir they could have, uh, they could have repaired, they could have repaired the distribution network. Pero está bien, está utilizando la forma continua o progresiva con ING. Could have been repairing. They could have had trouble with the house circuit. Yes, Galileo. Uh -huh. I could have turned on the power plant. That could be a possibility, Laura. Okay, thank you. Okay. Entonces, puedo también decir the fuse. Ajá. It could. Sería así, Ana. It could have eh, been that. Y luego continúa la idea. That the fuse or the object was, was wrong. Could have, could have maintenance. Uh -huh. Electricians could have been given maintenance. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Wendy and Galileo. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to give you the info about the other one. Les voy a hablar del otro y ya luego empezamos a, a practicar. I'm just going to put something here. Just give me one moment. Okay, the other one we have is would, would of. Would of. We use it to talk about unreal past possibilities. Unreal past possibilities. And okay, 
la diferencia, este es muy, muy parecido a could of, porque los dos son para past possibilities. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Could of es para cosas reales, ok, real past possibilities. Y would of es para cosas que son hipotéticas, imaginarias, would of. Les voy a dar un ejemplo y les voy a dar el contexto para que vean la aplicación, la aplicación de él. I'm just going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance first and then I will give you the explanation. And then we will start practicing. Okay, let's begin with Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Brian Javier. Present. Okay, Carlos Antonio. Present. Elizabeth Martinez. José Arnoldo. José Galileo. Present. José Jonathan. Present, Miss. José Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura Carolina. Present. María Concepción. María Elena. Mayra Moreno. Ok, thank you. Present, teacher. Then, Mayra Nelson. Nelson Gavarreta. Aquí, Miss. Okay. Omar Francisco. Aquí. Oscar Arrufo. Thank you. Present. Zaira Marleni. Present Wendy, teacher. Wendy Maribel. And Jenny. Present teacher. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's continue. Remember, could of and would of are the same. ¿Verdad? Could of and would of son lo mismo, solo que uno es para cosas reales y el otro es para y, uh, cosas hipotéticas o imaginarias. So I'm going to give you some ideas, some examples. Just give me one moment because I have some examples here and I'm going to, to copy them. Okay, hold on one moment. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example where we have a real possibility and an unreal possibility. <clears throat> okay, hablando de would of. Recuerden que would of lo utilizamos para hablar de cosas hipotéticas. Aquí estamos hablando de ir a la playa. Yo hubiera ido, pero no me invitaron. Entonces la, la posibilidad está ahí pero la oportunidad nunca se presentó, nunca me invitaron. Entonces es algo hipotético. I would have loved, ¿verdad? Como yo hubiera o me hubiera encantado ir. I would have loved to go with them. Go to the beach with them, but they didn't invite me. Entonces es para hablar de una posibilidad. Yo hubiera ido, pero no me invitaron. Así que es algo hipotético, ¿verdad? Una posibilidad en el pasado. But, y aquí está el otro ejemplo. Why did you stay in the hotel? Una persona le dice a la otra, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué se quedó en el hotel? Ella se pudo haber quedado con Mary. She would have 
could have stayed with Mary. She asked you. Mary invitó a esta persona a quedarse, ¿verdad? En su casa, pero ella no aceptó. Entonces, es una posibilidad en el pasado. Existió la invitación, pero no se tomó. Entonces, aquí vamos a utilizar could have porque sí es algo real. Sí hubo una invitación. Pero si nunca existió una invitación, ¿verdad? Si es algo irreal, entonces ahí utilizamos would of para hablar de oportunidades or possibilities in the past. That's the way it works. Otra posibilidad en el pasado, irreal. I would have met your mother, I would have met your mother if she, if she was alive, ¿no? if she was alive. O sea, una posibilidad irreal, la mamá de esta persona ya murió, entonces nunca se va a poder conocer, pero si estuviera viva o hubiera estado viva, hubiera pasado. Entonces utilizo would of porque es algo imaginario y real. That's the way it works. Vamos a tener otra clase de esto, de would of, could of, and should of on Friday to review it. Because I know that there is a lot of things to, to process. Yo sé que hay bastantes cosas que procesar. But we will start practicing. Vamos a empezar a practicar. Do you have a question for me first? Is there something that is not clear yet? Out. No sé si quieren preguntar algo más antes que empecemos a tratar de practicar. No? Ok, so we are going to start practicing should of. Vamos a empezar practicando, hemos visto tres. En este primer ejercicio vamos a practicar should of. Ok. El primero, el de los past mistakes. I sent a document by WhatsApp. I sent this document there in the group. And there are different, different past mistakes. Aquí hay varios problemas que pasaron. Tienen que utilizar should of, ¿verdad? Para expresar los lamentos o el error. Solo vamos a utilizar should of. You can choose at least three, ¿verdad? Por lo menos tres imágenes, at least three pictures and make two sentences per each. Pueden escoger por lo menos tres imágenes y crear por lo menos dos, dos eh, oraciones. Por ejemplo, I failed my test, my text, I'm sorry, my test. I failed my test. Ok, y tengo que utilizar should of. I should have studied more. I should have studied more. ¿Verdad? Eso debía haber hecho para pasarlo. I should have studied more. Ok, vamos a utilizar should of. Ustedes escogen las, las ideas. There are different things. And you make two sentences at least. Clear? Si estamos claros? Yes, yes ma'am. No? Okay. If you need me, let me know. Solo should of. Nos vamos a enfocar ahorita en should of. To talk about past mistakes. Luego vamos con nosotros. Okay. You're going to work in pairs. Voy a tratar de ponerlos en parejas para que piensen más ahí. Okay. Give me one moment. Okay, please accept the invite. Teacher, ¿dónde están esas figuras? O, o es el que documento que había mandado temprano. Uh -huh. ah, yes.
shouldn't have. Como yo no, de, yo, yo no hubiera. Sí, I shouldn't. Ajá, shouldn't have, yo no hubiera. I shouldn't have eight. Eight, eight. Eight. O eating. No, eight, ¿verdad, teacher? Eating. Eating sería el principal. I shouldn't have eaten so much. much. So much or so much? So much. Mm -hmm. too, or too much. Too much. Cualquiera de los dos estaría bien. Okay. Too much or too much. Okay. Do you I have any have... any questions for me? I need practice, teacher. Es no sé. Puso los tres. <laughs> yes, I, I know. Gonna... De hecho, Thank esta you. clase, esta clase cuando la he dado es para, bueno, en otros lugares para clases superiores, para inglés superior, y se va uno por uno, uno por uno, y aquí están los tres en una sola clase. Así que sí es bastante que, que procesar. But continue. Por lo menos ahorita enfóquense en Shuro, van bien. Y luego vamos a trabajar con el otro para que lo practiquen. Y el viernes lo van, los vamos a practicar más. Okay, so we will try to practice. But you're going well. I'm going to let you continue. Los voy a dejar ahí que sigan. See you. Okay. Use, ¿Cómo se podría decir no usar el teléfono? I, I should... I shouldn't, I shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't use it. Before. Use it, use it, use it. Pero sería, use it. I shouldn't have it. I shouldn't use. Quiero ver una negativa. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have use. Que, use. Quería, quería decir, I shouldn't have it, pero no sé si es haven't. El, el negativo lo va a poner, Carlos, en el shouldn't. El have. Siempre va a ir afirmativo. Oh, uh -huh. aunque, sea, aunque sea en negativo. Ajá, sí, es sí, que sí, la negación la va a poner Oye, en el lugar. Sure. Pero el have, ese siempre queda ahí, así. Es cierto. Entonces, uh -huh. teacher, entonces I sería... I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have had. used the, the, the phone. Así, ¿Para in, cuál in, es? In the bus. I lost I my phone in the bus. bus. Ajá. Correcto, ¿verdad? Porque eso es como Sería, que yo diga, no debí haber, y luego ustedes mencia, mencionan, ajá, lo que no debí, debieron haber hecho o lo que hubieron, tuvieron que haber hecho. Uh -huh. Pero así quedaría, I shouldn't. También puede ser, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have used it. Taken, taken the call. Taken the call, ajá, correcto, y es taken porque es el past participle. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Do you have more questions for me before I leave? Um, no, thank you, Miss. Okay. See you in one moment. Bye bye. El del cumpleaños y anotarlo en un calendario. I forgot about my friend Birda. Uh huh. I I forgot about. About, about my friend, my friend, friend. teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, how, hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. I drink, I drink coffee. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> por, la, por la tercera teacher ahorita. <laughs> Ah, wow. Archu, how debería, eh, yo debería <risa> anotar, sería gol. Ah, ah, anotar, debería sí, anotar. Es, sí, porque eso no gol. sería anotar, teacher. El pasado de, no, pero no es un Es no que ahí es como teacher. tomar nota, tomar nota. Ajá, tomar nota en un calendario, notes. queremos poner. Oh, ah, un calendario. Ah, we're, we're ten, entonces yo debe, uh, uh, I should have gotten. I should. Un recordatorio, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero si es recordatorio de teléfono, es set. 
Será. Ah, no, nosotros lo, lo queríamos hacer el antiguo en un calendario. Ah, pero pues, ah, yo debería escribir. A remember. Reminder. Eh, written. Ajá. Written a reminder. Haber escrito un recordatorio. In the calendar. Ah. Uh -huh. Pero ya ni se I ocupan los calendarios. <laughs> Estamos mejor. Está. Quiero ver. Sí, sí, quizás está mejor que el que usted había dicho. El okay. de los recordatorios electrónicos. Ajá. Set up a reminder. Uh -huh. Así se pronunciaba. Set up a re reminder. Reminder. Uh -huh. yes. um, set, set up. Uh -huh. Solo así es. I should have set up reminder. A reminder. A reminder. Yes. Ok, so continue. Uh, continue okay, and then okay, we teacher, will check. Thank you. We will check them. Bye bye. Ok. okay. I should you... Maiden exercise every day. Maiden, así. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Maiden. Con problemas con el pasado participio. Ah, sí, yes. Aquí hay una Sería mezcla made. de todo un poco. Mate es el pa made. participio de mate. Uh -huh. De hacer. Uh -huh. De hacer. Mate. May. Ajá. Okay. Ahí lo envié en el chat. Ese es el so, past tense y past participle. ¿A dónde? En el chat. Ay, 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 ah, el chat sí. Madre no, e, M, A, D. Madre del yes. chat. Ah, Madre. Mm -hmm. Así como Madre en ah. China. Uh -huh. Made, Made in China. Uh -huh. So, yes. Do you uh, have thank you, Miss. No sé si hay algo que quisieran preguntar. Si quieres escuchar esta, a ver si está buena. Uh -huh. Vaya, dice: de la misma esa que engordó. I shouldn't have <laughs> eaten much pizza. One more time. I shouldn't have. Yo ten, tenía dudas con el de eat. Ajá. En el, en el pasado. Team. En el participio. Ajá, eaten. Sí Ajá. Eaten. 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 Ah, verdad. Ajá, es. Sí, eating much, eating much food, ajá, uh -huh, much pizza. Ajá, pero, bueno, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have eaten a lot of pizza. Ese era, Mayra. Ah, a lot. Okay. A lot of pizza, yes. Uh -huh. A lot of pizza. A lot of pizza. A lot. Or too much, too much pizza. Mm -hmm. I, uh, How many sentences do you have in this moment? ¿Cuántos I tienen ahorita? I... Ya terminaron. Oh, ¿Cuántos les faltan? No, okay. like Anna's teacher. You're missing two. ¿Les faltan dos oh. o llevan dos? <laughs> you have two in this moment. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, continue. I'm going to visit other rooms. Okay, and if you need me, let me know. Okay. Voy a ver cuál otro van a dar. Have eight healthy. Este. Hi teacher. Hi. Hi. I see you finish, right? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. We we think we finish. Okay. Tell me, Brian. Solo algo, creo que en, en la última I shouldn't have ate healthy. Creo que ahí no va el, el not, solo el I should. Ah, yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. You're right, I should have ate healthy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? I, I'm going to, I'm going to make some changes. Let's, let's start with number one. I, I overslept this morning. I should have, and the, the past participle is waken, waking up. I should have 
Waking up. Waking up. Waking up. Uh, no, I, I send it in the chat, Galileo. Okay. W A K E N. Please tell me. W A. Walking. Walking. Uh, no. Uh -huh. Waken. Waken. Yes. Waken. Waken. Up. The uh -huh. lap is remain. Uh -huh. It continues the same way. Number two. You should have slept. Yes. And then you should have paid. Para poner atención, vamos a utilizar paid. I'm sorry, pero no es así el past tense. Es así. Paid attention. To the road, to the road. Paid, paid. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. To the road. Paid is the, ma'am, eh. Mm -hmm. Paid is the pass of put. No, es, es que en inglés se dice pay attention. Se pone mm. así, este es el presente. Entonces, yeah, um, put this is like I put my mouse in my on my table. Uh huh. So yeah. when it comes to attention, we use the verb pay, and paid like that is the past participle form. Number okay. four, you shouldn't have been. Oh wait, you should have. Mm. You shouldn't have distracted yourself with the phone. Si solo pone distracted yourself mm -hmm. with the phone. Or you should have been distracted. Así ya quedaría. Mm -hmm. Being distracted. Mm -hmm. And in the last ones, el past participle is eaten. Ese es el past participle del verb eat. Eaten. Yeah. Uh, I see. No. I will send it in the chat. I know. Eating. Eating. No. Eating. I look at that. Yes. Uh, yeah, I got it. It sounds very similar to eating con ing. Suenan bien parecidos. Uh -huh. Pero es uh, distinto el spelling. Yeah. What about the last? Lo sentence? mismo. El verbo sería en vez de ate, va a ser eaten. I should have eaten, eaten healthy. Healthy. Okay. Uh -huh. I should have eaten healthy. But thank you, ahí ya quedarían perfectas. Ok, vamos a, en thank este you. momento voy a revisar las de sus compañeros. No les voy a pedir las suyas porque ya, ya se las revisé yo acá. Ok, para aclararles okay. si no les digo. Eh, just wait a moment and then we continue. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ok, we're back. We're going to check the sentences. Ok, your sentences. Let's begin with group number one. We're going to check some of your sentences. Vamos a revisar, escuchar algunas para que nos ayude el feedback a todos. Y otras las voy a revisar yo en privado. Ok, Carlos, Jonathan, and Zaira, can you read your sentences, please? Okay, teacher, tenemos, I, I have stress, stress I eating. Mm -hmm. oh, fresh, I gained 10 kilos. I, I gained, uh -huh. I gained 10 kilos. Mm -hmm. I should, I should have 18 healthy. Mm -hmm. Other, I shouldn't don't exercise. No, 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 I sería, should. sería positiva, perdón. I should. I should have exercise. Have exercise, yes. Next. Zaira? Uh, next. Next. Uh -huh. um, I have overslept this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, feel. Um, I shouldn't have put the alarm. I should have put the alarm. Next. I shouldn't have slept late yesterday. Uh-huh. Correct. Thank you, 
The other I uh, lost my phone in the bus. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have used taking the call. I shouldn't have used the phone in the bus. Uh -huh. And the first one I shouldn't have taken. I shouldn't have taken the call, right? The call, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Thank you. Thank you guys very well. Laura and Wendy, let's go on. Laura and Wendy. Okay. Um, mosquitoes have bitten me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, sh I should have used uh, repellent. Repellent. Yes, that is the right way to say it in English. Laura, eh, which color? <laughs> eh, I forgot about my friend Verdice. I shouldn't have set, set up a remain, reminder. Remind, reminder. Remind, remind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I have overslept. This mm -hmm. morning, mm -hmm. I should have gone to the bell early yesterday. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Laura. Do you have more sentences or is that it? I la que es abajo está la de la que la que se va mojando, teacher. Que no la logro ver. I got all wet. Uh -huh. yes. I should I should have brought an umbrella. Yes, uh -huh, Laura, correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's continue, Omar, Ana, Maria Concepcion, and Elena. Okay, teacher. Uh, bumper my cart. I should mm -hmm. have gone more slow. Slower. I speed slower. Okay. Uh -huh. I have spent spends a lot of shopping and don't have money. I should have mint buckets before to bought. I should I should have bought. I should uh -huh. might buckets no como que se dice como Presupuesto. Ah, I should have made a budget. budget. Uh -huh. Before it to back. Before, before make, before buying, before buying. Uh -huh. Yes. And I lost my phone in the bus. Mm -hmm. I should, I shouldn't off take in off and keep in well in the world. I should have. Of take taken in of I should of taken in the bus. De no haberlo sacado en el bus. Ajá, exacto. Ajá. Yes. Thank you, Ana. Do you have more sentences, group? No sé si tienen su grupo más oraciones or is that it? No okay, thank you. Arnoldo and Jenny, let's continue with you. You Jenny? start. Yes. Okay. Okay, Arnoldo. Uh -huh. Jenny, you or, start. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I gained 10 kilos. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have eaten so much. I should have reject large portions. Mm -hmm. Two, I lost my phone in the bus. Mm -hmm. I should have saved the phone in my bag. Mm -hmm. I should I have should, sent... I, uh -huh. I shouldn't have ahead. sent message in the bus. Mm -hmm. And I miss my phone. Uh-huh. I should have gotten up early. 
I should have set the alarm. Correct. Thank you, Jenny and Arnoldo. And last group. Teacher, this is, teacher, uh, one comment. Uh, this is correct set, but we, we uh, talk about is set or program. Set or program, both are okay. Usually people go with set. Set. But it's on the table. No, yes, no, but set, but set has different meanings and you can use it in different contexts. You can use set like to program something. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks. So it's it's correct. Okay, last group, Juan Carlos, Mayra, Nelson and Oscar, could you read your sentences? Hello. Hi. Uh, yes. Hola, hello. <laughs> Oh, Isa, <laughs> agarramos la que dice que subió de subió uh -huh. ten He kilos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Eh, I should not have eaten a too much pizza. Mm -hmm. eh, I should I should have made exercise every day. Don. Don't exercise. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Ahí el otro compañero, Juan Carlos. He will continue. Okay, Juan Carlos. Uh, teacher, eh, la otra de, de que perdió el teléfono en celular. Ajá, uh -huh. he lost the phone. <laughs> In the past. Yes. Okay. The past. Uh, I should have used the phone in the bus on the bus. And I should have kept the phone in my bag. In my bag? Uh -huh. Only that. Okay, Only that. thank you. Thank you, but the sentences are correct. Okay, now we're going to practice could have. Vamos a practicar could have in this moment. I'm going to share the book with you. And we will go to page number 30. And we're going to work on this. Okay, this. It says, read the situations and discuss what actions a manager could have done to improve or to solve them. Pasaron diferentes situaciones en estos restaurantes y ustedes tienen que ver ¿Qué se, ¿Qué se pudo haber hecho para mejorarlo, verdad? O cambiar la situación. Van a hablar de past possibilities. For example, money disappeared from the register machine. Se desapareció el dinero. ¿Qué pudo haber hecho el manager para que no pasara esto? O ¿qué, qué pudo haber hecho esto para... ¿Qué pudo haber hecho el manager? Para que eso no pasara, ¿verdad? Past possibilities. Vamos a, a utilizar could of. La idea es que se responda a esto. Actions a manager could have done to improve or to solve them. ¿Qué pudo haber hecho el manager para mejorar esta situación o para solucionarla? Y van a escoger, van a escoger two. Ok, two situations and two Two sentences. Dos situaciones, las escogen y luego crean dos oraciones por situación. Do you have questions? No, no questions. Okay, you're going to work with the same, the same group. Brian, do you have a question? Which is page? Page number 30. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.
tu palabra, creo yo. Es el corte de caja. Vamos, vamos a preguntar. ¿My box a cook? Ajá, él puede hacer Teacher, corte de caja. ¿Cómo se llama corte de caja en inglés? ¿Cómo se dice? Corte de caja. Ajá. Es la primera vez que me Corte. Ah, la facturación. Lo de ya hacen el cierre se... de él. Uh -huh. O un cierre. Ajá. Yo lo estaba tomando literal corte de caja. Ok, if you want to use that term. Okay. I was like, corte de caja. Ok. Eh, close. Close of the transaction. Closing. Closing close. of transactions. Or inventory. That could be another option. Finish the inventory. Closing of the inventory. Mm -hmm. Finish. Mm -hmm. Closing of succession. Sometimes, algunas ocasiones. Mm -hmm. Closure. He could have closing of transaction sometimes. Okay. How are you doing? Do you have questions? Can you read the sentence that you have, Oscar? Yes, the first problem. Money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't mm -hmm. tell who is taking it. Mm -hmm. The fear is he could have closing of transaction sometime. Él debe hacer corte de caja algunas ocasiones o repentinamente, no sé cómo se dice repentinamente. From, mm, okay. Maybe you can say that he Very. has to, but that will be a diario, right? Pero él quiere decir como de repente, right? Podría utilizar un, un medium, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Oh, Eso okay. es como repentinamente. Fuera de la nada. Uh -huh. Repentinamente. O de, ajá, de la nada. Ok. okay. okay. Vamos a ver qué más puedo hacer de este muchacho. ¿Mm? ¿Cómo lo quedaría entonces? He could have closing of transaction out of nowhere. If yeah. or it. Out of nowhere. He could have closing of transaction out of nowhere. Ahí en el chat está prácticamente. Ah, sorry. Ahorita la veo. Ahí nos ayudaron. Ok, ¿qué más pudo haber hecho, eh, Mr. Juan Carlos? Y... Cierre de caja. Eh, podría también este. Ah, closing of transacción, dice ahí. O oh, re no. recibir pago solamente en tarjeta de crédito. Eh, Una podría pull off, pull off. receive o receive hey, pero en el orden ahí sería he called her closing I think it would be of... it would be better if you say he could have Made an, an inventory daily, or maybe security cameras. Maybe you can you can observe, you can monitor the employees to check who is okay. taking the money. Okay, I'm going to let you continue okay, because I'm going to visit other rooms. If you need me, okay. let me know. Okay. Experience, uh, experience, no, yeah. experience personal. 
no es eliminar este Ay, me lo corrí sí. Ay, me lo corrí yo porque lo estaba haciendo mal experience employees experience experience employees ¿Sí? uh, el manager debería de contratar empleados con experiencia how here contratar no es despedirlos no, hire, hire is contratar. Just add okay. the, the at the end, Carlos, para que sea el past participle. Hire. Hire. El manager Ajá. could have had hired the, experience, experience employee. Experience employee. Yes, and I have a comment about number two, about the money that disappeared. You can say the manager could have saved, saved the register machine, como, como que si la pudo haber asegurado o dejar con llave, creo que es lo que quieren decir, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá, ajá could have, mantenerla yes. con, con llave. Um, no. es, es que puede ser solo así, could have locked, porque ese es como el verbo para tener algo bloqueado o asegurado o bajo llave, could have locked. The register machine. Ah, eh, borrar este, este, borrar Ajá, este, borrar este, este, y have, solo utilizar lock. Have, lock. Ajá. Borrar uh, safe y pon have. Ajá. Safe. Así sí, sería. Borra safe. No, 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 no. Borra y pon have. Couldn't have. Así como lock. lo teníamos. Ajá, solo Ajá. El, el say, digamos que se quita ah. y le agrega id ahí al verbo locked. Lucky. Ajá, ahí quedaría. Y el Pero otro de manager machine. could have hired experienced employees. Ajá, eso está bien. Okay. You're missing one, right? Solo una les hace falta. ¿Y cuál habíamos dicho ahí abajo? En la otra. Oh. No se me ocurre esa ahí. <ríe> no, pero habíamos dicho una. Eh. Es que yo los interrumpe. Los no, 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 yo, cuando... yo había dicho si, si las pagaban entre todos. Ok, sorry, Zaira, Carlos and Jonathan. You can leave it like that with those three. I hope you guys could finish. Esta, please envíenmela ahí en el grupo porque los voy a dejar trabajando en una activity más antes que nos vayamos to continue practicing. Y mientras ustedes practican, yo voy a revisar sus sentences. Okay, the last thing that you have to do is this. Create a paragraph about, about a past mistake. You have to create a paragraph about something that happened to you a mistake that you regret and what you could have done to, to avoid it. Van a hacer un párrafo donde comenten algo que les pasó, un error, un error de su pasado y lo que pudieron haber hecho para que no les pasara eso, ¿verdad? Algo que les haya pasado, una equivocación, un error, ¿verdad? Lo que y su lamento y lo que pudieron haber hecho para que no les pasara. Yes. Entonces tienen que ir pensar, ya es como en aplicación, ¿verdad? Que en ese es el momento que vamos a utilizar todo esto. Algo les pasó. Por ejemplo, ¿qué puede ser lo del, lo del error del accident? I had a car accident because I was driving and I was drinking alcohol. And I shouldn't have drunk alcohol. And I could have, I could have um, told someone to, to drive instead of me, ¿verdad? Tuve un accidente por manejar distraído. 
Entonces ahí mencionan lo que, lo que lamentan, ¿verdad? Y lo que pudieron haber hecho para que no les pasara. Okay. But send me the sentences. Y me envían sus sentences de, de este que acaban de hacer. Y las voy a revisar. Okay. Las de Carlos y su grupo ya las vi. Y ya les di feedback. Pero de los otros grupos, no. So send them to me and I'm going to give you feedback about it. Mandamos. Yes, by WhatsApp or here on Zoom. Ah, oh, Ahí okay. donde le salga mejor. Ok, Galileo, thank you. Let me see. Um, Galileo, are you, okay, Galileo, I sent a change just to the verb, sentence number one, okay. I'm sorry, sentence number two, could have okay. given, but number four, I wanted to know what you understood, what did you understand this, the problem was? In the number two. Number four, the kitchen manager has been taking staff uh, from the storage room. How do you understand that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the manager could have done the sketch very simple. Um, the mm. manager who uh, was there to. Yes, I understand the sentence. But I don't know if you understood the problem. What was the problem that you understood, Galileo? What was the problem okay. that you understood? ¿Cómo entendieron uh, ustedes la situación? I, I am wrong. It is the number five. Ah, it's okay. It's not four. Sorry. This is John, John Ah, okay. So, I'm sorry, you. I am wrong. And it's very difficult. Okay, so never mind. Entonces no dije nada porque estaba leyendo con otro. Okay, I'm Galileo, sorry. thank you. I'm going to continue with. Bye bye, I'm sorry. No, it's okay.
Anna, I, I made some changes in, in your sentences, mostly the, the verb. Ahí le mandé en el chat unos cambios, pero más que todo eran los verbos que, que no estaban con el participio. Pero de ahí, ah, okay. lo demás estaba bien. Ahí se lo envié en el chat. You can check it later. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, Galileo, I just read your paragraph. Well done. Thank you. And I'm sorry that that happened to you. It looks like it was a, a bad experience. It's something that you regret it. It is a real experience and I am I'm very regret. <laughs> <laughs> You're regretful about it. Yes, but it's, it's very, yeah. very well. Maybe just the verb. I hire, but then I shouldn't have hired him. It's there. He was against, will be it like this. Against. Okay. But yes, yes, it's it's very well done and I I understand. Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And Jenny, are you going to stay with me for the private session? Si ¿Sí se va a quedar, Jenny? Solo estoy aquí confirmando. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. So, guys, starting, starting Friday, if you would like to, we have more room for more private sessions. Ya desde el viernes en adelante se puede repetir. Así que pueden enviarme un mensaje si quieren poner alguno en el calendario. Ya Carlos ya me escribió, así que él va a ser el primero en comenzar. La ronda de repetición. Vamos a empezar mañana con él. But Friday, and then you can let me know. Se puede quedar cualquier. Solo me falta Nelson. También Nelson me avisa y lo programa. Programo, pero aparte de Nelson, creo que no me falta nadie, ¿verdad? Que no haya tenido su session. Mi María Concepción. It's true, ¿verdad? Porque estuvo enferma. Ok, entonces, yes. María Concepción. Entonces, lo hacemos esta semana. No se me avisa. Cuando ya se sienta ahí. Y Eli. Ok, entonces me avisan. Ok, Galileo Monday. Entonces, vaya, quedamos para ahí. Monday, mañana Carlos. Friday, eh, María Concepción. ¿Le queda bien Friday? Nuestra session. Yes, teacher. Okay. No problem. Eli, Tuesday. Entonces, Eli. Y eh, nos queda miércoles, jueves, viernes. Three days, ok, todavía available. Guys, ok, entonces luego vamos con Wendy. Next day. So, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Me envían ahí su paragraph cuando ya terminan. Terminen. And just Jenny y Oscar. Se lo enviamos al chat, Miss. Uh -huh. Les mando el feedback. Oh, de no se lo sentence. voy a enviar a, a WhatsApp. Ok, all right. 
I'm going to take the attendance really okay. quick. I know that we have to we have to go now. Okay, let's begin. Ana Beatriz. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Present. Okay, thank you. Yes, Aira. A mí también me pone para, para, para la, la sesión. private session. Bye. Okay, mm -hmm. ya me mandan ahí un mensaje ahí privado, please, a WhatsApp. Lo voy a poner en el calendario y así ya no se me va a olvidar. Okay, and then, okay, Ana Lilian, no, Brian Javier, Carlos Present. Antonio, Present. Elizabeth Martinez, <coughs> Jose Arnoldo. I'm sorry. It's okay, don't worry, Galileo. I, I have you here. Jose Jonathan. Present. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Present. Okay. Laura, Carolina, Present. María Concepción. Present. Elena Guadalupe. Paula Moreno. Thank you. Present. Nelson, okay. Nelson Gavarrete. Present, Miss. Present. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. And Jenny Suleiman. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Thank you. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. We will practice superlatives again. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. See you tomorrow. Bless you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Hello, Miss. Hello. I'm okay. How do you feel now? With more practice. Uh, with good. This? <laughs> yes. I I think that I learned. I learned, and I mejorado. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice? I have improved. I have improved. Yes. There are many many listening. <laughs> Ah, ok, yes. El, ayer hicimos el, el, el video, ¿verdad? Sí, sí vi que y Cabal tenía todas las respuestas. Yeah. Ajá, congratulations. Cuando empecé y nos podían un video, me preocupaba porque no entendía nada. Ah, ok, pero pues ya yes. hoy me alegré. Ajá, sí. you see, you saw the changes, right? Ahí vi, sí, yo vi con sus respuestas que eran justo, ¿verdad? Lo que necesitaba, lo que preguntaba. So, congratulations, Jenny. Yo sé que se siente gran satisfacción. Because it's not, not our language, right? So, Jenny, yes. how could I help you? ¿Qué quisiera practicar o reforzar un poquito más? Podríamos el tema de ahora. Uh -huh. que realmente siempre siento que se parece en esas tres palabras should, could y, y el otro que se would, eh, would, would. Bueno. Sí. ok, uh -huh. vaya veámoslo ahorita one moment ok, entonces empezamos con should of. y de hecho falta me faltó una parte todavía que darles pero ya no quería seguirle agregando más <risa> más cosas a, a esto porque ya sentía que era bastante, pero sí se le puede todavía agregar más. Ok, should of, you have to use it when you regret a decision. Okay? Va a utilizarlo cuando usted tomó una decisión que lamenta, Jenny. Esa es como la palabra clave, ¿verdad? O sea, algo se realizó, pero usted, usted pues está como lamentando, ¿verdad? Lo que haya hecho. Entonces, ahí utilizamos uh -huh. should have, ¿verdad? Hubo un problema, un past sure. mistake, un past mistake. Como es, ¿verdad? I missed my flight. I missed my flight. Fue un error, hubo un problema, un, un past mistake. Entonces, si usted quiere, pues, Mencionar que lo lamenta, no posibilidades, ¿verdad? Sino que lo lamenta o lo que tuvo que haber hecho. Entonces ahí es cuando va, should of. What would you say? ¿Qué cree que pudiera decir al respecto? If, if you miss the flight. I, 
I should have uh, is gotten 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 uh -huh. gotten up early. Ajá, uh -huh, correct. Or earlier, ¿verdad? Ahí podría poner más temprano. Earlier, más comparar. temprano. Uh -huh. Voy a ponerle aquí tal vez una palabra clave de lo que yo tengo acá. You believe a different action was necessary. Ok. Eso es cuando utilizamos should have. When you believe a different action was necessary. Eso es lo que usted está diciendo. Que usted cree que otra decisión fue necesaria. Entonces ahí entra la que usted dijo. I should have gotten, gotten there earlier. Entonces aquí lo que usted está diciendo es que esta decisión uh, uh -huh. eh, fue necesaria, ¿verdad? Una, una acción diferente. Entonces ahí es cuando entra. ¿Por qué va there? there ahí, teacher. ¿Mm? ¿Por qué va there en la oración? Ah, there a como en el aeropuerto. Oh, usted, me, yo pensé que de llegar era lo que decía. Levantarse de uh -huh. temprano, de get up. Sí. Ah, ok. Entonces, fue así, Karen up de, de despertarse. Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí, yo lo uh, entendí como de haber estado en el aeropuerto más temprano. Más temprano. Ah, pero está bien también. <risa> yes. yeah. Ok, entonces, uh -huh. aquí le voy a poner, cuando es curo, eso es lo que está diciendo. A decision was possible, but the opportunity was not taken. Entonces, este es el momento que utilizamos. Could. Could of. Okay. Oportunidades presentadas, ¿verdad? Pero no se tomaron. For example, digamos que le ofrecieron cuando terminó el bachillerato estudiar en Estados Unidos. I was offered an scholar scholarship, okay? In 2010. Bye. Fue hace años. La oportunidad estuvo ahí. Bueno, ahí está, pero no la tomé, okay? Entonces ahí va could of. I could of live or study. In the US, but I didn't, I didn't want to. Okay, no quise, I didn't want to. Okay, estamos hablando de una posibilidad, o sea, la posibilidad existió, pero usted sí. o yo no la tomé, yo la rechacé. O que le hubieran ofrecido un trabajo, last year. Like Jenny work from home. Que le hayan dicho el año pasado a esto, ¿verdad? Porque tiene que ser algo del pasado. Y eh, su manager le dijo eso. Jenny work from home. Pero usted no le gustaba pasar en la casa. Usted quería ir a su oficina. Entonces ahí va Kuro. I could have worked from home. Last year, but I don't like to stay or to work. I don't like to work from home. Okay. Like. Uh -huh. I don't like, like to work. Oh, yes. To, like. I don't work. No, I don't like to work. From like. Home. Yes, ok. Entonces es una past possibility que fue real porque existió la oportunidad, pero usted la rechazó. Ok, entonces okay. vamos, solo recapitulando. Should have, usted cree que una acción diferente 
tuvo que haber sido tomada. Uh -huh. Una corrección a lo que hizo. Ahora, could of hubo una oferta, ¿verdad? Para que le crea diferentes universos o, o alternativas en el pasado, diferentes destinos, pero usted lo rechazó. Ok, pues real. Ahora está would of. Would of. Y aquí le voy a poner las palabras claves. If there have If there had been the possibility or opportunity this action uh, had been different. Okay. Entonces, esto es para una hypothetical situation. Si esa, este, ¿cómo le digo? O sea, quizás no con estas palabras. Mejor así. The opportunity never, never existed. Okay. Esa oportunidad o decisión nunca fue parte de la oferta. Pero si hubiera existido, esa es la que usted hubiera tomado. No lo rechazó en ningún momento, solo que nunca existió la oportunidad. Entonces hablamos de hypothetical situation. Estamos creando algo hipotético o de nuestra imaginación. Ahí va, would have. I would, uh -huh. como I would have won the lottery. Uh -huh. Como que alguien tenía. ganó, ¿verdad? Pero Exacto. si ni siquiera participó, ¿cómo iba a ganar? Ajá, uh -huh. entonces... I would have won the lottery, I guess. I would lottery. won the lottery. Y puede crear la condición. If I had eh, bought a ticket. Como que yo diga, yo sé que yo hubiera ganado, ¿verdad? Si yo lo hubiera comprado, yo hubiera ganado. <laughs> ok, entonces esto es también una past possibility pero de una decisión o una oportunidad que nunca fue real. Solo es parte de la imaginación. Sí. Entonces, así es como funcionan estos tres. Should of, Para usarlo, tendría que analizar como el contexto. Ajá. De, de, de oración. Correcto. Uh -huh. El contexto le va a dar a usted la, la pauta para decidir cuál sería el modal correcto. Cuál usar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cuál utilizar. Entonces ya el contexto le ayuda ahí. On Friday vamos a practicar más, Jenny. Vamos a practicar un poco más para que se sientan más, más como seguros al utilizar. Pero sí, ajá, este es un tema un poco complejo porque tiene bastantes estructuras así del pasado y el pasado con participio. Cuesta. Voy a leer sus oraciones ya que la tengo acá y así le digo qué tal está. Los que me envió ahí en el chat. Okay. Manager. Yes, the sentences are perfect. You use past participle uh -huh. and you use could of, so they are correct, Jenny. The ones you sent by chat. Uh -huh. Aha, so that's the way it works. Así es como funcionan. Y que, como le mencionaba, se dice más que todo off. Could of. Pero a veces okay. cuesta porque uno le have, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, como que eso es lo que se le viene a la mente. Pero si puede tratar de decirle off, va a sonar más pero, natural, ¿verdad? Porque eso es lo okay. que se dice más. Ok. Sure. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, Jenny, I think we will stop there. I don't know if is there is something else I could help you with. Um, no. No. Hey, Está pasando. Thank okay, you. Okay, Jenny. All right. If you need me, send me a message, okay? And I will help you. Okay, Jenny. Sweet okay. dreams. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you. You may disconnect, okay? No problem. Yo voy a quedarme revisando algo acá. But you may disconnect. <laughs>